Right then, my friends, let's go boating. Hello there, folks. I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting, and today you're joining me sat on a wall over the top of the Dine Gofflin Canal, overlooking the junction here at Frankton, where the Montgomery Canal goes off that they're trying to restore and all sorts of fun and games is happening on. And, well, I suppose, really, just seeing this beautiful scenery in the background sums up what you're about to see in the rest of this video. This is just a random bit of a boat life vlog but in 4k. Wow that's fancy. Right let's go. So it's just past eight o'clock in the morning. I woke up a little bit earlier today and first things first it's a beautiful morning out there. We've got birds in the trees, we've got nice calm canal scenery and all the usual things and that's the the immediate thing that I always say is so great about being out and about on a boat, that you're waking up and going to sleep very often in these beautiful rural places. A little bit like this. So another thing you may notice here is that I've got my, my bicycle in the kitchen area at the back there. And that's always a good sign that I've arrived on the boat later on in the evening and instead of fetching the bike down and putting it in the shower out of the way, if I'm going to be heading back into town on my bike the following morning, such as this morning, simply keep it up there. It's out of harm's way, out of the way of generally walking around, unless of course you're trying to make yourself a load of super noodles. And then obviously it's easy to just push the bike up through the door, hop on it and then, well, off I will go down the towpath and back to Oswestry. Street. So, as you probably expected, my cycling get-up is about as awesome as you would expect. We've got our waterproofs, our high-vis, we've got our sunglasses on so that the dazzling, amazing sun, which has actually gone in since I woke up, um, doesn't uh, dazzle us off the roads. And of course, the temperatures get a little bit chilly on some of these early morning and late night bike rides. Obviously this is a nice mid-morning ride, but it's always good to get the old mouth and the conch covered up too. Right then, uh, let's go biking! So just before we leave the towpath, I do want to give you a little indication here of the, the classic winter on the Langothling Canal experience. And basically, moor your boat up, and if you're not at Ellesmere or Chirk or Langothlin, then there's a good chance you'll be the only boat in sight for a lot of the time. So barely on my bike for a minute and I thought I would just stop to show you this little feature here. This is an old railway bridge. As you can see, it's a missing a vital component of anything actually crossing the road and the railway line. But bear this in mind for the future as the canal is only up in that direction and will pass over a similar structure that the canal travels between. So just a random little moment of interest and also another random little personal um, element to this is once upon a time this used to be the old railway line into Ellesmere, another popular canal destination and many many times in the not too distant past my granddad himself would have been riding the train over this road on that uh, well hopefully more substantial railway line back then. Right my friends, my hands are held up here, I apologise, I realise I've done something very silly and I didn't actually take any video footage of the bike ride between the boats at Mad Jack's and Oswestry about four and a half miles away. So here's some really amazing summary footage from the middle of last summer of that same stretch of road and some of the beautiful places around there, but this video isn't meant to have any voiceover in it, so don't count this, this is just a silly error. Right then, I'll show you a clip from my morning commute a couple of, well, about a week or so ago, and uh, then we'll get back to the video. So, I've left my bike in town, we've got some shopping and bits and bobs, and we're off down the road to the boat now, as you can see again. Um, not quite the sunny morning it was when I first woke up, but a good enough sort of, it's dry, that's the significant thing. So we'll, we'll count that as a victory. Right then, my friends, let's go boating. Okay then, my friends, I just recorded a little bit to camera as we were pushing off from the side of the uh, canal. And 
embarrassingly realised that it hasn't actually, well, it just wasn't recording. Uh, so we're setting off from Mad Jack's here, as you can see, and this is well, just what it's all about, I suppose. And one of those great benefits that I always talk about with boat life, that it's just a random day, random Friday, I think this is being filmed on. And yeah, just go boating, why not? We haven't got any particular set destination in mind. We just want to move a couple of miles maybe in this direction and we'll see where we end up. If we get to the first sort of decent mooring place in my mind and there's a lot of boats there or something else that I don't like the look of, then we'll just leave it and carry on. And well, who knows, might end up at Ellesmere. <laughs> Let's roll. So when I was cycling out this morning, I hope that I edited it into the video where I mentioned the old railway line to Ellesmere and mentioned that just away from the road, here we've got that same railway line or what remains of it with the canal crossing. Also, I'm very glad to be moving away from where I was moored up because I hadn't realised just how much the pigeons or goodness knows what birds in the trees uh, above the mooring had really gone to town on the roof of the boat. Right, so as we pass these boats in the background and the many, many that are still to come in the foreground, it's all about being very, very slow. And these are the moments where I'm very, very glad to have somebody else on board with me. So that if there's any incidents we'll describe them as, uh, they can just run along the side of the boat and kick away from any of the boats that we might be drifting a little bit too close to. But it's never happened yet. But now I've said that, I don't want to jinx it, so I'm going to stop this recording. So we're moored up now, it's a lovely afternoon, it's surprisingly warm even if it is a bit overcast and grey. You can see, oh I didn't realise there's a boat coming behind us there. Um, but for a beautiful day, I've got to be honest, cleaning bird poo off the roof isn't my uh, ideal scenario, but it hasn't uh, proved to be too bad of an afternoon. That's not a bad view from your doorstep I don't think, and if I just awkwardly step out in my slippers. <laughs> This is definitely, in my book, not a bad view at all from the back door. Obviously, when I'm biking in and out of Oswestry to and from a location like this, as I've said so many times, it certainly starts and ends the day on a, a good note, if you ask me. As you can probably tell by what you're seeing on the screen now, it's turned into an absolutely beautiful afternoon here. And so we're just going to go out and have a wander down and well, walk around for a couple of hours and then we'll both go back to Oswestry on the bus at which point I'll pick my bike back up now I've got me oh gunshot in the background don't worry remain calm everyone um now that I've got my shopping and stuff on board I can be free to ride my bike back out from town with a relatively light backpack which will be a, a pleasant change from some recent bike trips Right, my friends, as we're wandering and walking around, I just want to say ignore the sound of a helicopter in the background, as that's not normal countryside scenery. Focus more on the birds in the foreground. But these are some of the many little places that I love, where you just have your little styles following the footpaths as they're crisscrossing over farmers' fields and stuff. But here we've got this great little extra bit where you go over the style, which looks as, as mossy and old as time itself. I can just about get my old uh, past it legs over the uh, fence there. Then we go straight to this little stream. As you can see, it's uh, not been too wet recently, so it's only a little trickle of water. We've obviously got the little um, very simple two plank bridge here. So I am getting uh, caught up in all of these, not ideal. And then of course, we've now got this style to go over there. However, I think uh, we're just gonna walk around it at the side here. And then again, picking the camera up, you can see we're just surrounded by more of this absolutely beautiful countryside here.
also, as you've already seen, yesterday was a good day of fun and games in the outdoors, from cycling to walking and obviously some boating. Then when we moored up here, and I'll probably not be able to get the camera to focus through uh, the window here in the background, but obviously you've seen that I spent a while, well, me and my friend are just hanging around, nattering and talking, uh, dealing with the, the birds' calling cards that they had left all over the roof and on the towpath side of the boat. So today's far more a practical day, so I'm going to hang over on the water side of the boat very precariously as I deal with the, the birds' calling cards on that side of the boat. And then I'm going to be spending a lot of time writing and just editing, really getting the next two sections of the audiobook ready for recording and getting the overall Kindle book of the Call of the Canal book ready to go live sometime in March. And uh, then, of course editing together this video for tomorrow evening but yeah it's all good fun and like I say this is just the general experience of being on a boat sometimes just like living in a house you might go off on fantastic adventures other times you've got to get the housework done and uh, well as I say the the bonus of the boat I know these windows are absolutely appallingly murky to peer through but obviously you get to have this incredible scenery around you as you're doing a lot of these menial tasks but of course there's the added bonus that you can obviously change the view through the windows any moment you want pretty much So here we are my friends, I've been out cleaning as you've seen, I've been doing a little bit of editing of the book and what have you, and now here we are putting together the very video that you are now watching, one of those little inception sort of moments there where you're watching what you're watching while it's being made, and if I move the camera around here, sorry we're actually connected up at the moment, one second, uh, hold on tight, oh that wasn't the dramatic jolt in the uh, camera. Now, immediately as I've pointed the camera through the window, you might be able to tell that it looks practically frosted after having the, the dirty water and the brush all over it. Well, I've been cleaning the roof and that before. Um, but the wind seems to have died down as soon as I've pointed the camera out here. And judging by that tree, it looks as if it's hardly windy at all out there. But I promise you, I promise, it's been actually quite uh, gusty out there. So, um... Hopefully that'll all settle down by the evening because we're sort of quite exposed as you can see here. Right then my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video as it's been a slightly different style of vlog to what I've done a lot of in recent times based on the feedback that I had from people out in the magical world of YouTube who said they wanted to see me do more talking to the camera and talking as I'm actually filming things as it's all happening in day-to-day -day boat life and out and about in the great outdoors rather than what I've done a lot of recently, which I apologise for, which is just doing voiceovers over random boat life clips as I'm talking so hopefully that's been a, a slight increase in what you want to see but still with a slight change in style still delivering all of the general boat life sort of stuff that you also like so hopefully that's a nice gentle first video in this new push of the uh, March onwards video run that I'm doing there's proper short films and documentaries and that lined up for the very very near future as I say so we'll see what happens um, please do, if you haven't already, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, check out my short books about boat life if you want to help out the channel. There's also a paperback. If you go over to the website, there's also now a signed paperback. Again, it's amazing that since I mentioned that the other day in a video, the amount of people from America, Australia, Europe, it's, it's incredible. So thank you so much. Again, it really helps out. And for anybody who's particularly generous and feeling in a very... Uh, 
a good mood, please consider checking out the Patreon as well. You'll find loads of links in the description to all sorts of stuff like that, along with all of my random social media stuff. I'm posting loads more random videos and clips from day-to-day -day life from uh, on things like Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and I don't know, all these other things. You'll find loads of links in the description. I'll just leave it at that. So my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope that I'll see you around here very soon. Until the next time, my friends, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it interesting. Keep it boatworthy. And of course, my friends, farewell.